All right, um, welcome to week five. We're gonna start doing Python stuff. Um, we are going to write Python code in Jupyter Notebooks. I've also added a module, a link in the module to something called CoCalc, which is basically a way to do Jupyter online. But I've posted some videos about Jupyter Notebook and I've posted some, um, uh, a link to the Math Learning Center's series on, on Python and Jupyter. So Python is a programming language and Jupyter is just um, a, a thing with, within which we can write Python code. The good thing I like about, one of the things that's good about Jupyter is because it, it's sort of, um, a, a way to think about it is it combines calcul a calculator with a programming language with, with LaTeX. So for example, as you will see, there's going to be input lines. The input lines, you can do all of the normal programming things. You can write functions. You can have a compute things, etc., and so forth. Uh, but also, as we'll see uh, next week, you can even write LaTeX in that as well. And so if you want to write a document that includes both code uh, and exposition, I think Jupyter is really great. And I've posted some, link, some links to my math, uh, to my differential equations class. Uh, with different notebooks, with different PDFs, that sort of thing, um, that show you how to, or uh, the, 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 that are examples of how I'm combining um, math with programming, and also it teaches you a little bit about about programming and using Jupyter as well. So there are two. Um, I should just mention this: when dealing with Jupyter, there's kind of two different files. You'll have your Jupyter notebook file, which will be opened in a web browser. And uh, this file extension is .ipynb, and then you can print that out as a PDF. Everything that you're going to be printing out and turning in is going to be a .ipynb file. Um, now, if you want to open that, you can't just open it as a .i. You can't just like double click on it in a file explorer or something because it's going to open. It's not going to. You need to open it within the Jupyter notebook. Um, but the videos that I've posted will help you with some of those things. Um, I'm having computer troubles this week. I got a new computer um, yesterday and my Surface is giving me some troubles. So for this week, I'm just gonna use videos uh, that I made last summer, but I will get back to making new videos next week and probably upload some videos later this week as well. 